how do you notice the warning signs in someone who just maybe spends a little bit too much time shopping online and somebody's got a real problem? Well, some of the warning signs that we look like, look at are, you know, loss of control. Is the person shopping instead of taking care of other things? Do they miss time from work? Are they staying up late at night so they're not sleeping because they can't stop shopping? Family and friends start to get annoyed or worried about them. What's happening to them? How come they can't pay their bills? They're borrowing money from friends. Um, usually I feel guilty. You know, if I go buy something at the store, you know, I might feel a little guilty, but I get over it pretty quickly. But if I'm buying things all the time and I'm spending the rent money for a purchase. Especially if you know you can't afford it. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That person's going to feel very guilty. And finally, it's that withdrawal thing where if I'm away from the TV or away from my pocket uh, phone where I can't make a purchase, do I start to get irritable and anxious? And many of these compulsive shoppers clearly do that. Welcome to the Confessions of a Shopaholic. We just got a call in from Jane Bloomwood, and she claims that her daughter, Rebecca Bloomwood, has a serious shopping addiction. Today, we're going to interview people who are close to Rebecca. Can you give a quick description of Rebecca? Rebecca is a really loving and caring girl, and I want the best for her. This is why I called. I just think she's constantly putting her life at risk by constantly shopping. She shops at least once a day and always comes home with new purchases. And whenever I ask how much they cost, she never directly answers my questions. If I continue asking, she finally answers with an extremely cheap price. I'm not a dumb person. I know how much things really cost. Rebecca's my best friend. We've known each other since high school. She is a great person that I consider her as a sister. Although she is in debt, she's always oh thinking about it and surprising oh the gifts after she comes back from her shopping trips. What is your definition of a shopaholic? I personally think a shopaholic is someone who keeps purchasing things and never thinks it's enough. Someone who buys things even if they don't have enough money. Someone who doesn't stop shopping. I think a shopaholic is someone who buys things they like without thinking twice. They buy everything and anything they like and can get their hands on, not caring about the price. If they like it, they buy it. Do you think Rebecca is a shopaholic? Yes, of course. As I said before, all she ever does is go shopping. She says she lives for it. During her spare time, she's always at the mall buying new things. No, I think Rebecca is just like anyone else. We all like a little shopping, right? I think she's perfectly fine. I know she enjoys shopping and does it quite frequently, but I don't think Rebecca is a shopaholic. She just likes to buy things, but I don't think it's out of control. What do you think caused Rebecca to become a shopaholic? Well, I really don't know. When she was young, I always bought her anything she wanted. She was a really spoiled girl. I just never, never thought it would affect her in such a negative way. Like I said earlier, I don't think Rebecca is a shopaholic. Therefore, there is no cause. Shopping is just something she likes to do. So. Back in the day, did Rebecca whine or cry to force you to buy something for her? Rebecca was a really good kid. She never really whined or cried to make me buy anything for her. I guess I just wanted to buy it for her to make her happy. So when did you start noticing that she became a shopaholic? When she got her first paycheck. I asked her what she was going to do with it, and guess what? She'd already spent it. Well, I thought it, I didn't think much of it at the time, but it started to become a trend. How do you think Rebecca can stop this habit? For the shopaholics out there, I think they should only buy things that they really need and spoil themselves once in a while, but not, but not too often. This way they don't spend money on everything. They should have a budget and try not to overspend. I think Rebecca should limit the number of times she goes to the mall. If she only needs to go once a week and maybe once on a weekend, she'd probably save a lot more money. Uh, for, for the other days of the week, she should come visit me. Does she not visit you often? Well, she tells me she's busy, but... I'm pretty sure she's just out shopping again. Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Sure. I'm Rebecca, but you can call me Becky. I'm 24 years old and shopping is my passion. You can find me in stores at least once a day, and I can truly say I enjoy every moment of shopping. I always feel a rush almost completed whenever I buy something new. Shopping's like my own type of detox, you know? A stress reliever? Something that makes me happy. Well, that is until my credit card bill comes in the mail. At that point, I usually become extremely panicked and guilty, but somehow totally forget about the guilt the next day when I make my way back into my favorite shops. I used to work as a receptionist, but got fired. I honestly don't understand how they could fire someone for leaving work at random times. Seriously? How can they expect me to miss a good sale? There are never any good sales here in Toronto, especially at brand name stores, so when 
one comes around, of course I'm going to go check it out. Some people just don't understand that I need to be saving money, and sales are my only way to do that. Would you like to show us your closet? I've been waiting for you to ask. Here it is. I know it's a bit full right now, but every piece has a purpose. I bought these shorts a few days ago. Let me just show you. <laughs> I love them so much. The story behind these is that they kept catching my eye every time I walked into the Chanel boutique. They were constantly in the back of my mind, haunting me, and I finally decided to pick up a pair for myself. Although they were a bit pricey, I don't feel bad at all. Besides, it's my birthday in a few months, and I consider this a pre-birthday gift. Hmm. Huh. Another piece is this dress. Let me just get it. Isn't it pretty? The first time I wore it around mom, she kept insisting for me to tell her the price. So I'd say it was on sale for 50 bucks. Well, it was near 300 but if I told her that, she'd probably go crazy. Or maybe she'd tell my dad first, and then they'd both go crazy together. Either way, a result of all that craziness doesn't look very good to me. Do you consider yourself a shopaholic? Have you ever tried to cut down your spending? Me? A shopaholic? <laughs> oh no, I only buy what I need. I know I spend a lot more than I probably should at times, but that doesn't mean I have a shopping addiction. I just enjoy gifting myself little things every so often and wearing the newest trends around town. Those types of things make me happy, you know? Yes, I've tried cutting down my spending in the past because of my mom always pestering me about it, but Suze allowed me to realize that I don't need to be cutting down. I need to be earning more money. As soon as I realized that, I became a whole new person. That's where all my new jobs came into play. So no, I'm not a shopaholic. I simply enjoy living high, living a high-class lifestyle. Can you show us the last three things that you bought this week? The last three things that I bought? Uh, sure. Well, I already showed you the shorts. Remember, from Chanel. I also bought this shirt. Well, it came in a buy to get one fifty percent off deal, so of course I I took that option. And uh, these shoes. So roughly, how much did all those things cost together? Seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. Could you truly afford to buy all those things? Well, yes and no. I know I'm in a bit of debt right now and shouldn't be spending, but those items were actually helping me save money in the long run. If I bought them at their original prices, then maybe I couldn't afford them. But most of them were on sale or had good deals. So yes, I actually could afford it because it saved me money in the long run. Okay, do you ever find it difficult to hold a stable relationship with people because of how much you shop? Yes, definitely. Especially with my parents. They always get angry at me for apparently wasting my money, and they claim I'm ruining my life. I honestly don't understand why they think that. Sometimes I go weeks without talking to or seeing them because I get tired of listening to them yell. Once my mom took my credit card away thinking it would limit my spending, but it just ruined our relationship. We didn't talk for at least three months. So that was the end of all our questions. Um, bye! Bye! Today, our team conducted an experiment on Rebecca. Our team planted cameras in Rebecca's home to observe her addictions. We are assigning you with a one-week test to control your spending habits. The rules are that you must not spend over the 200 we provide you in a week, and you must record your progress each day. You mean $200 a day, right? No, in a week. No, I can't do that. Nobody in this world can spend that little. It's okay if you fail. It's just an experiment. Okay, I'll try. Okay, we're gonna have to hold on to your credit cards and any source of money during the experiment. <laughs> hey, it's my first day of the $200 challenge and I've only spent 30 bucks. I thought this challenge was gonna be hard, but it turned out to be easy. They should have gave me 100 bucks. I love this new lifestyle of spending so little, I already feel like a changed person. 
guess what? Coach has a three-day sale, and I didn't even go to it. I'm so proud of myself. I only spent forty dollars. <laughs> no. Okay. So I decided to go into the coach sale, but just to look, and was forced to buy a new wallet for a hundred dollars. I don't feel that bad though because it was twenty percent off, and it is my birthday soon. I only have thirty dollars left now. I. Guess I won't be spending anything tomorrow. <laughs> well, today I saw the most perfect shirt online. I only had thirty dollars left, but that wasn't enough. The only way I could buy it was by using my emergency credit card. I know I shouldn't have spent over the limit, but I just had to. Rebecca, we understand that you couldn't pass the experiment but we're glad you tried. Did you learn anything new? Well, I learned that I can't control my spendings and I tend to get easily influenced to buy things. I never realized that that I couldn't last without buying something new every day. It's on the third day that you spent over $200 on a credit card. Where did you get that from? Um, it's a gift card for Suze. Yeah, her birthday's coming up and um, I sort of have a hidden credit card that I use for emergencies and I wasn't going to use it but coach was having a sale for three days and it was the last day and the lady, the sales lady made me buy a wallet. Can we please have your hidden credit card? It is important that you don't keep an emergency credit card when you're curing your addiction. This is only for the better. Okay, we're going to assign you with the same task and see if you improve. Rebecca, so how do you feel after listening to your mother and friend open up to your obsessive shopping habits? I can't lie, they are right. I do shop a lot more than the average person. Maybe I do have a little problem. A little problem? Well, okay, maybe it's bigger than I want to believe it is. I know I am obsessive about shopping, but I do have valid reasons why. And what would that be? First off, a girl has to look good. The only way to do that is to keep up to date on all the latest fashion, fashion trends. And that of course requires me to shop regularly. Is regularly a code for daily? No, it's a code for often. Okay, you're right. Daily. But I need to shop. Do you need to shop or do you want to shop? Is there other reasons that you shop? I need clothes for my job, partying, and working out. Oh, I never knew you worked out. How often do you work out? I haven't started, but I plan to. Oh, so your shopping addiction is causing you to not have time to work out? You don't understand. I shop because it makes me feel happy and fulfilled. But for how long, Rebecca? Always. That's why I am constantly shopping, so I can feel happy all the time. Do you think that your behavior is detrimental to your future? I never really put a lot of thought into it. But honestly, now that you have asked these questions, it makes me think. But really, if I was a shopaholic, don't you think my good friend Suze would be the first one to tell me? The problem is that Suze enables your shopping habits. Don't be ridiculous. Suze is my BFF and always has my back. That's what's part of the problem. You know that when you share a new purchase with her, she'll be excited for you. You know that she'll have she'll support you financially when you overspend. And you know that she'll lie for you when the bankers call. And you know that she'll help you emotionally when people suggest that you have a problem. And on top of that, you surprise her with gifts. You're not being honest to her or yourself. I never thought about our friendship from that perspective. I don't intentionally want to hurt anyone. I never thought my shopping could cause so much damage. It just, it's just always made me happy. Maybe you're looking for happiness in the wrong place. Are you really content living your life like this? You're right. But I am scared and don't know what to do. I believe the first step for you is to admit that you have a problem, and then we can help find your support. I am Rebecca Bloomwood, and I am a shopaholic. <laughs>